Over the next five days, Monday through Friday, I'll be working as I normally do, earning money on gig economy delivery apps, but I'm not really earning money. Instead, I'll be earning company stock in whatever platform I use, whether it be DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, or Amazon. I'll immediately convert the cash value of my delivery into share value of their company. Right now it's Monday's lunch shift. I've already completed the first delivery so that I could provide an example of exactly what we're doing. I delivered this Papa John's pizza. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. And generously received a hidden tip. So my total delivery earnings on this order was $8.36. And immediately before even accepting the next DoorDash, I went into my Robinhood app and purchased $8.36 worth of DoorDash stock. After I finish the lunch shift on Friday afternoon, it'll be some time between probably 1 and 4 p.m., I will sell off every bit of stock that I've earned throughout the week and we'll find out what my earnings were. Hopefully over this, the course of these five days, these stock prices will go up and we'll have made more than we actually are technically earned. There's a chance it'll work the opposite way and that having received this stock value will mean that at the end of the week, I actually received less cash. Let's see how it goes. I'll be showing lots of screenshots consecutively, starting with my delivery route and expected earnings, followed immediately by the exact amount purchase of stock. You'll see an extra screenshot in between if I was tipped additionally more than I thought I was gonna be, uh, like Amanda did here. You're Amanda? Yes. All right, have a good week. You too. Looking for Blake. Hey, that's me. All right. Hey, thank you, sir, I do appreciate it. Absolutely, have a good day. You too. To track our progress, we need to establish there was 52,213.92 in my Robinhood account at the start of the week. During the course of that first shift you just saw, our stock value had increased three cents. So that's an encouraging start to our experiment. I took a break at this point, but went back out for Monday's dinner shift. Getting started on Monday's dinner shift. I've got time for about one hour. I'm at Hooters for my first pickup. It's a Grubhub order. Grubhub actually isn't traded publicly any anymore. I'm pausing here so I can explain what's going on. See, back in the day, Grubhub was publicly traded in the US, but they were acquired by a larger corporation called Just Eat Takeaway about a year ago. Several months later, Just Eat Takeaway decides to take Grubhub stock back off the market. By the way, shout out to Joe Guskowski who authored both of these articles. So they're the one gig economy app that I cannot utilize in this challenge. So instead I'm gonna make the dollars earned on Grubhub sort of wildcard dollars where I get to determine where I think the money is best invested. Any stock available on the Robinhood app is up for grabs. I will use my best intuition to decide where the money is best applied. Now let's jump back into the story where we left off. Immediately on to our next pickup at Big Walk. This is a DoorDash order. Keep in mind the trading day ended at 4 p.m. So these dinner shifts, I can't buy the stock immediately. I have to just wait for the morning. So anything earned during this shift, first thing, as soon as the market opens tomorrow, we'll uh, buy the appropriate amounts of stock. Another one for Big Walk. Let's go deliver it. Enjoy. Next DoorDash order, we return to Shrimp Boat. Hello, Thank you. have a good day. You too. It's not been quite a full hour yet. This has been a very efficient block of time here. I'm gonna do one more order. It looks like this. See, I accepted it because I'm headed to this area here in York tonight anyway. So I'll pick it up on my way and deliver it. First though, I'm gonna stop by my house and pick up my dogs. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have the dogs in the back seat while I try and deliver this food. Let's hope they allow me to do that without trying to uh, eat it for themselves. All right, y'all, let's do this in a clean and organized fashion. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. To the car, come on. You know where to go. You know where to go. 
Come on in. There you go. I've made it to the restaurant for pickup. This is gonna get real interesting. Watch out. Watch out. You gotta go in the back. You gotta go in the back. That's where Madison's food sits. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ugh. Get back there. You cannot have Madison's food. Let daddy make this money. Four more miles. Can we make it without them diving into the food? Oh, Peyton's smelling it. She wants it, Madison, but I'll protect it for you. We've arrived, Madison. She told me not to ring her doorbell, so I'm just gonna leave it right here at the door. That's gonna do it for that shift. When we get settled in this evening, I will do some research on Robin Hood. We'll decide tonight how we're gonna apply our Grubhub wildcard dollars. I ran out of time last night to film. I ended up landing on Bank of America stock to do as my wildcard stock for yesterday's Grubhub delivery. And then of course this morning I also went in and bought $23.25 worth of DoorDash stock that we earned last night. I'm getting started on Tuesday's lunch DoorDash right now, the second day of our experiment. And instead of narrating the obvious, I've got a montage for you. It's the end of the month and the weekend. I'ma spend this track, everything on me, yeah. I'ma tip myself, I'ma spend it on myself. I'ma drop it like it's pouring, I'ma pour it on myself. Check, 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 check the money making bank account number. That's the that shit that's never getting bounced on your bitch. I do the money dance. I just made a honey best. When the stars say sign for it, I'ma leave my autograph. Dollar bills, dollar bills, watch it fall for me. I love the way it feels. Dollar bills, dollar bills. This is the first delivery after 4 p.m. We got a 50 cent hidden tip on that one. So everything including this order is money that we cannot put into the stock market. Immediately we'll have to do it tomorrow morning at 9.30. I'm taking the dogs back out to York again tonight. I got offered this DoorDash, definitely not one I would ever take unless I had to go over there anyway, but I'm gonna be driving all those miles as it is. I might as well get paid a little bit of money to do it. Watch out, Brady, you can't be sitting there. You can't be in the passenger seat either, bro. I need you in the back. I need you in the back. One more time. No touching the food on the way to York, okay? You listening to me? Peyton. It's time for me to make the delivery. Get off me. Get off me. I gotta go. Let go of my arm, bruh. Let go of my arm, Brady. Dang, son. Oh. Wednesday of this challenge, I ended up doing zero deliveries. I helped move a buddy of mine back into town and then we hung out the entire day. I did, however, remember Wednesday to buy the stock we had earned Tuesday night. So here's the $12 of DoorDash stock purchased. And then I think we got tipped a little bit extra on one of those Ubers you saw. So the total ended up being $36.90. Since Wednesday was a no earnings day, I came out Thursday and had my best earnings day of the week. Hey, I got a DoorDash for Heather G. Thank you. Hey, Lindsay. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Have really appreciate day. that. Yeah, no problem. How are you? Doing all right. That's for Ramon. Ramon? Yeah. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Delivering to the same building twice in a row. Hello again. Hi. This one's for Bubba. Hi. 
Bubba? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the food. Thank you. Today's lunch shift was good and efficient. Made some nice money. Next up, we're using the afternoon to do an Amazon flex shift because the pay is already set. Here's what the shift looks like. Set at $77. I've gone ahead and purchased $77 worth of Amazon stock. That way we can buy it today instead of having to wait for tomorrow. Just left the warehouse with my product. I'm a big fan of my route, 16 stops to make, all of them going south toward Rock Hill where I want to end up after this is all said and done. I have done my Amazon duty and I'm pulling back up at the house. Just for the record, I know that shift said it would take until six. I've pulled back up at my house at 5.08. So the hourly earnings on that shift were pretty decent. I've got time for only one delivery tonight. It's a Grubhub. It looks like this. Going to Taco Bell, it basically brings me back to my neighborhood. This is the second Grubhub of the week. These earnings are wild. Tomorrow morning when the market opens, I get to pick whatever stock I want to invest in for the rest of the day tomorrow. This time I ended up choosing stock ticker symbol VOO. It's Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. It's my favorite thing to recommend to people that don't want to invest in actual single stocks. The next day is Friday. That means we have only hours left on our challenge before we review how we did for the week. It is now Friday. I'm about to get started on today's lunch shift. We're starting this shift with a DoorDash order from Empire Pizza. Hey, I'm picking up a DoorDash for Charles. Hey, this bag and this drink right here. Thank you. I just picked up two orders from the same restaurant, one DoorDash, one Uber. I've been checking out the Robinhood app today to see where we stand in terms of profit or loss for the week. And I gotta tell you, I'm disappointed. Today's our sale day and it's not looking good. Absolutely, you have a great weekend. Thank you for shopping at CVS. How's it going? I'm good. Have a good day. You just saw the final delivery. Now we get to recap. Unfortunately, we lost money in this challenge. Here you see we were doing well, especially we were up as much as $10 early Friday, but then Friday just hit, it just started tanking. We finished the challenge earning $4.42 less than we actually would have earned if we hadn't received the stock value. There's one thing though I take tremendous pride in. We lost money on DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Amazon, but when it came to the stocks that I chose myself, we performed much better. We did lose nine cents on the S&P ETF, but we made 10 cents on the Bank of America purchase. That's a net one penny profit. Mwah! Yes, yes. I will do this again very soon where I go out and deliver all day, but instead buy only stocks that I think are the good purchase at the time. So if you're interested in that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. In the end, I delivered just under 15 hours during those five days. After we cashed in all our stock, I ended up with $318.83 worth of earnings, which amounts to $21.25 an hour, a pretty decent week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of work into it. I really appreciate you watching. I will see you next time on Wealthy.